Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan bringing you all the headlines that you need to know for Friday, August 17th. Today we've got viewer email and news for bitches and an entire section where we just make fun of Donald Trump. All that and more right here on your Guys in Speed Round. A polar bear at a zoo, and it's not funny, he died, it's sad. A polar bear at a zoo in Germany mysteriously died from a case of zebra herpes. Making the image of a polar bear having sex with a slutty zebra the best punchline ever for what's black and white and red all over. I can't wait till the next time a little kid asks me that. Gonna ruin your life. Also, accidentally hilarious that if you run a Google image search for zebra herpes, this picture of Aubrey O'Day pops up. News for bitches. Chris Humphreys wants Kanye West to testify in court that his marriage to Kim Kardashian was fabricated for reality TV, so he apparently hid a subpoena in a Nordstrom's box and then mailed that to Kim's house. That seems like a really big box for something that small. But I said the same thing when I found out you were having sex with Kim Kardashian. Comedi... Comedi... <clears throat> Comedian Carlos Mencia is opening a new chain of restaurants called Maggie Rita's. Whatever. Guys, I'm so excited to announce I'm opening a new chain of restaurants called Maggie Rita's. That was unnecessary. I guess someone can't take a joke. Oh wait, yes he can. A man in Oregon is serving out a 30-day prison sentence for collecting enough rainwater at his home to fill almost 20 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Or one Olympic-sized douchebag. Donald Trump tweeted earlier in the week that he's working on a big surprise for the Republican National Convention, and everyone will love it. First of all, gotta say, love Trump's conviction here. Everyone will love it. Don't ask questions. You're fired. Up. About what I'm planning. For the convention. After seeing that story, I was like, wait, I need to be following Donald Trump. My favorite people that I follow are Meta World Peace, Jose Canseco, and Meta World Peace. So I'm not sure how I missed such an unintentionally hilarious candidate as Trump Nasty here, but I went to his Twitter page and decided to follow him and checked out what I missed. And sure enough, it's magical. Here's some of my favorites. D Loser salon? That exists? I've wasted so much time at Supercuts. This one, where he said, I'm really glad Mitt Romney no longer says what a nice guy Barack Obama is. Got a response from Derek, who said, Being nice is okay too though, bro. Why don't you take your shitty face and jump off a building? See, Trump, being nice is okay too. Okay, bro? Kill yourself. This one though, he got me. There, Trump Chicago was in Transformers 3, and Trump Tower was in Dark Knight Rises. I guess he does have the Midas touch. My question is, when do we get to see Mitt Romney's golden penis? A new app called Chore Monster rewards your kids for completing their chores. The definition of parenting has officially loosened more over the last five years than Christina Aguilera's belt buckle. A 27-year-old in Oregon survived being compacted by a garbage truck twice after falling asleep in a dumpster on Friday night. Cheese! If you don't get that joke, you're probably too old to be here. Chris Brown would like Rihanna to stop talking about that one time that he beat her up a little bit. Now that he's hearing, she spoke about it in a recent Oprah interview. Ugh, Chris. Isn't it so much harder to shut a woman up when she's out of arm's reach? <music> DR1345 said, shove that stupid cup up your cunt and shut the fuck up. You don't sound like a doctor. Cheekbones. Ears. Nail beds. Low mane. Crab Rangoon, uh, beef and broccoli. That was fun. Searching answers is searching for answers. And asked, what's your actual size? My cup size? You're asking me my cup size? It doesn't say, but I wouldn't say it's much more than like six ounces. Michael Kelly asked, yo, you wanna get some food? You wanna get the dried up jizz off of your space bar? 
so it will work properly. I got an email from a girl named Kat Wright. A girl, I know, <laughs> weird. And it was adorable. She's funny and nice. And then I got followed on Twitter by like five attractive women. And I also saw that one tweeted about me with a hashtag of my name, chicks. This is cool. I'm excited. I don't have a lot of girl girls don't. Girls don't like anything I bring to the table especially when I'm putting my boobs on the table. Welcome, ladies. And men, if there's ever been incentive to not act like creepy douchebags, there's ladies present for once. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for your speed round. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't left yet today, I'll throw a link in the description to a video that will make you do so. Enjoy your Fridays and your Saturdays and your Sundays, and I will see you right back here on Monday with more headlines that you need to know. Yeah, it looks like my hair changed in the midst of this video. That's because there was a, a fly, a big fly. And this is a small room, and it just kept and it's very loud, and I don't like that noise. So freaked out, and then I had to redo my hair. Erroneous.